Welcome back, friends. We hope you're having a great day so far. Civic Theater's adaptation of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet opens tomorrow, February 9th, and runs through the 24th. We're going to tell you how you can enter to win tickets to the show in just a little bit, but first, here are some of the cast members, Rebecca and Kendrell, performing a preview of the show. Guys, take it away. Wilt thou be gone? It is not yet day. It was the nightingale, and not the lark that pierced the fearful hollow of thine ear. It was the lark, the herald of the morn, no nightingale. Look, love, what envious streaks do lace the severing clouds in yonder east. I must be gone and live, or stay and die. Yon light is not daylight, I know it I. It is some meteor exhaled by the sun to be to thee this night a torchbearer and light thee on thy way to Mantua. Therefore stay yet. Thou needest not be gone. Let me be taken. Let me be put to death. For I have more care to stay than will to go. Come death and welcome. For Juliet wills it so. How is my soul? Let us talk. It is not day. It is. It is high hence be gone away. It was the lark that sang so out of tune. Oh, now be gone, more light and light it grows. More light and light and dark and dark are woes. Oh, farewell, farewell. One kiss and I'll descend. Oh, thinkest thou that we shall ever meet again? I doubt it not. For all these woes will make for sweet discourses in our times to come. Oh God, I have an ill divining soul. And trust me, love, adieu. Adieu. That's a great job. Woo! Oh my goodness. Come on, little on-air kiss. All right. Yes. OK. Great I job, guys. Great. That was awesome. Good job. We also have the show's director, Emily Zucker, to tell us more about the production. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for being you. here. Great job, friends. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Yes. <laughs> so, it's always fun when we can see a little sample of the show yeah. mm -hmm. and give people an idea. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this adaptation you're putting on. It's kind of a fresh spin on the story. Yes, well, the nice thing is, is that we have the original language, but I've trimmed it down to 90 minutes. Okay. So it makes for a fabulous date night. And if you love the play, you get all you want. And if you're a little daunted by the Shakespeare, we've trimmed it down and you'll understand everything that's going on. We have romance and sword fighting oh, yeah. and Ooh. all the good things that you want. Yeah, it's love a classic it. for a reason. It stands yes. up to the test of time. 100%. So can the audience expect the same classic story or have you changed other elements of the show too? Well, I haven't changed any elements of the show. We get all the story as we know it, but as you can see from these gorgeous costumes, They're great. Yes. we've set it in kind of a timeless period, which means that we have sort of modern meets uh, Renaissance, kind of showing that the story works anytime, yeah. any place, anywhere. Yeah, I yeah. know, I love seeing the costumes. I know. And this is a classic, like you mentioned. What are you hoping the audience walks away from with when they see this performance? Well, I think that what we really want to take away from it is all the things we love about it, which is that story of young love, that story of, you know, impetuous young behavior. But at the same time, it's really a story about families mm. coming together, learning to empathize and listen and compromise rather than sort of stick to what they believe. And I think that that's a really important message anytime. That's yeah. great. Well, yeah. you have an opportunity to win some tickets to the show right now. If you email the code word Verona to civic at civic theater with an RE dot org by 5 p.m. today, you can enter to win two tickets to the show. Thanks okay. for offering that. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Yeah. Take a picture of that email address right there. Send that in to get those tickets. Thank you all so much for giving us. Yeah, a great job. Break a leg, friends. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Coming up next, there's a lot going on in our city during All-Star Weekend, so we've brought in the experts to break down everything you need to know before you go. Oh yeah, we are talking everything from parking to road closures and the resources that you need to plan your own personalized agenda. We'll be right back. Great.